Now at 5.30, the monster winter wallop storm that Storm Team 8's been predicting for days is here, and it's already getting bad out there. Here's proof of viewer video of several semis wrecked on I-94 near Matawan. Other cars also involved in this. The westbound lanes are closed while crews deal with all of that. It's seven degrees out today. I was about to go over to my dad's garage to uh, work on the big block a little bit. I came out here and started this little $50 snow machine, started letting it warm up. And I was about to start brushing it off like a peasant, and I thought to myself, no more. None of that. Ah, uh, I don't know where I just threw that. I still need. So, what I'm gonna do instead of brushing it off. Because we all know that snow is actually terrified of fire, I'm gonna burn it off. Got another one. Starting fluid. <laughs> Do you guys know you can burn snow? That's crazy. All right, now I gotta go find that brush. That Look, all the snow is gone from the front of the car. Yeah, I can see so good. This is working. Uh, I'm sliding. Ah, shit. Uh, we're still gonna make it. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just commit. Just commit. Just commit. Just commit. Yeah, we made it. That's how you gotta drive here. Just. Just don't worry about crashing. You just gotta commit to whatever it is you're trying to do. If you're trying to turn, just commit to the turn. You'll be fine. You might crash. But it worked out for me this time. So it's gotta work for everybody else, right? So what would be your reaction if I told you that to clear the snow off the Impala, I used a flamethrower? All right. So we are now back at my place in the basement. It should go without saying that this video is just for fun. Obviously, don't go around throwing flames on your car. Uh, there's a good chance it'll catch on fire. Probably don't want that. So, I promised almost a week ago that I would do a Q&A video, and uh, I think it's time to pay up on that. So, we are in my basement, sitting be in front, behind. Behind me is this 86, 87? This mid 80s uh, Suzuki GSXR 1100, which needs a clutch and a couple other little things, and it would run fine, but it looks sweet just sitting there. So, and I need to open this box of parts for the Firebird. So, we're gonna do that while answering some questions and drinking a nice, refreshing, non sponsored drink. Oh, all these questions that's probably too threatening for YouTube. All these questions are from my Instagram page. If you don't follow me on Instagram, same name, Snydertron3000. Um, you can get your questions answered next time. It's super fun. I post a lot of really cool things that no one else has ever seen before. There's, uh, I posted, you know, go give me a follow. <laughs> anyway, uh, this first one, I posted a picture of the RX-7, by the way. This first comment is three years old, because the picture is three years old. Three years old and only took you six years to build it. And I responded with, hey, it's not done yet. Could take a full decade. Uh, that was AK to MI, Alaska to Michigan, underscores. Eddie P. Wiz said, you should do an update video on Dustin's Caddy. That thing was badass. I might be getting an 84 with a bad motor. Well, that car was actually quite the badass. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, last two years ago, wow, that's crazy. Uh, two years ago, uh, my buddy Dustin and I worked on his car because he had a 83 uh, Cadillac Coupe de Ville and it had the horrible 4100 in it and he wanted it LS powered and he also wanted to drive it to Cal uh, Colorado 
and he had to make that trip one way or another for work but he really wanted to take that car so we were like sweet let's do it we got plenty of time by the time he actually got most of the parts needed and had the time to work on it it was two weeks before his trip so we busted hump getting that car all together and uh, got it running and driving and then there was an issue with the transmission and he wasn't able to take it but in two weeks we got that car completely ls swapped and running and driving and it was pretty fun it was a cool car now since then he's fixed him and his dad have fixed a bunch of stuff on that car and he's been basically daily driving it uh he's taken it from where we are in michigan like around here uh, down to Fort Wayne in Indianapolis a bunch. He said he took it to Bam's Castle in Pennsylvania. Uh, he's been driving the heck out of that thing, which is sweet. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, he has plans to do a twin turbo build. He wants it to be like the ultimate sleeper. Uh, they want to take the stock wheels and have them widened so that it looks totally stock but can still fit like a, a 275 radial or something. It should be sweet once it's done. All right, next up, the Evil Genius 98 said, well, first of all, he said do it, and then I said, well, ask a damn question. And then he's like, what's your favorite bubble gum? And I'll be darned if I can't think of one. The only one that comes to mind is, um, like, the ones that come in the, the roll, where you, like, the, the shell, and you have, like, a like a 40-foot roll of bubble gum. I don't know what that's called, though, but I enjoy those. Uh, Charles Campbell, how is the truck actually new owners taking care of her? Um, he's talking about Goldie Hawn, for those of you who may not be in the loop, I got rid of the truck. Um, I traded that for the Firebird, I traded it to a guy in um, Detroit for the Firebird by the name of John, and just recently, how many of you guys are getting nervous that I'm playing with this knife around my face? Uh, just recently, like a few weeks ago, he traded the truck to a guy, I think in Ohio? or Indiana maybe, Illinois, something, uh, for a really nice Fox body. And apparently, uh, the guy he traded it to watches the videos. So, hey, what's up? You can probably comment and tell us about the truck more than I can, because I know nothing about it anymore. Uh, Cody Kubu, sorry if I'm butchering your name, uh, may have already answered, but did you ever figure out that Summit Racing fuel injection, or did you just get rid of it? Both. I do think I know what the problem was, and that was that the cam had too much overlap and it wasn't getting a clean map signal. So we could get it tuned to where it would do really good at idle, or it would do really good like kind of running it out, but we couldn't get it to do both. And I'm pretty sure it was just because it wasn't, it was like a, a 108 or something. It, it was a really tight LSA that uh, fuel injection doesn't like. So, and then I did end up getting rid of it. Uh, I got rid of that to pay for something else. I don't remember what it was off the top of my head, but yeah, I think if we had just taken the time to switch cams to something with a wider LSA or less overlap, it probably would have been fine. El Koki, have you watched Freddy LSX on YouTube? Are you going to build another truck? I have seen, I think one, maybe two of Freddy's videos. Uh, he makes good videos. I don't want this to come across the wrong way, but the videos I've seen at least, he seems like more of a show truck guy, which is nothing wrong with that. It's just not really what I'm into. But he seems like a cool guy. I would totally hang out with him. All right, flexible dipstick, because if you guys know F bodies, you know the shift cable. Because if you know F bodies, you know demonetized. Uh, let's answer another question. Mini truck and Lemke. Would you or will you be attending any car meets on the east side of Michigan? Uh, probably not any car meets. I'm not really a car meet kind of guy. Plus, that's like a two, two and a half hour drive. And I'm super lazy. So there's probably a very slim chance of that happening. But I will try to hit up some drag strips. We'll, we got a... Oh... Me and Herb from Michigan Muscle Car Garage, we have a plan, a really fucking cool plan that I'm super, super pumped about, but uh, nothing's final yet and I really don't want to spoil it just in case we can't pull it off. But if we can, 
you guys are gonna fucking love it. Um, let's see, Z71 Nation 97 said, I would definitely like to see you do stuff with the 6.5 diesel and the 2500. 2500. The the gray truck, that's a 3500, brother. That, that thing, that's a one ton. We got one ton shit here. Uh, the diesel, though, I had, I, I don't know. I've still got such aspirations for that truck, but it's been a, it's been a Michigan truck and abused and not very well taken care of its whole life. So like, it doesn't look bad. Like it looks like it just needs doors and fenders, but underneath it's like all the brake lines are rotten. Uh, it needs a bunch of stuff. Like it's, it's bad. It's fixable. Don't get me wrong, it's fixable. I just don't want to put the time and money into it when I've got Terry Crews out there. Play YNG double O. Do you miss Goldie at all? If you could buy it back one day, would you? I mean, sure. Like, I have fond memories of the truck. The truck definitely got the channel to where it is, but I don't, I don't know. It would have to be stupid cheap for me to buy it back. I think, I think it would be better to get a different truck and do the stuff that I learned from Goldie to that straight away and just be winning. Because it's like, Goldie, while being an awesome truck for videos, she had almost 250,000 miles. I put the cam in at like 235,000 miles. Um, obviously, it was... It had some rust, it needed a new box, uh, I used those quick covers for that sponsored video for the cab corners and stuff. I mean, it's still a good truck, but if I was going to get another one, I, I would either get... I see a mouse. I see a mouse in my basement, and he's about to fucking die. Come here, little mouse. Okay, <laughs> you're not gonna believe this, but I fucking got it. To answer your question, no, I probably wouldn't buy Goldie back. Let's see, where do we leave off? Uh, Evil Genius 98 again. Would you ever help a fan do a small build? Um, I probably would if they're if they're cool and they don't give me vibes of like like I'm I'm a pretty chill person, but if you, it's easy to tell when someone's kind of too much, you know. Uh, Rob M Baker said it has been a while since the last Q and A. <laughs> you ain't joking. Uh, Jack Hertzfeld, how do you convince your wife to let you build your shop? <laughs> well, I was like, hey Jess, we should build a garage. And she's like, you're right, Outlaw Dreamed Garage. Are you teaching the kiddos the ways of the RPM and tire smoke yet? It's never too early or too late. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, y yeah. <laughs> uh, my three-year-old, that's crazy to say, he's three already. Uh, he's, uh... He enjoys the hot rods. But really, do y'all ever have family track days or is it just you and Pops usually? Um, my wife and I have taken the kids to the track, but not like while I was trying to do anything. Just because it gets, like especially while trying to film, like it gets so hectic there that uh, we just wouldn't really be able to chill and talk because I'm trying to film the truck I'm trying to work on the truck I'm trying to like keep track of everything and and usually we go with uh, some other buddies that are trying to make runs and I'm trying to film their stuff too so like we're running all over the track I mean I've got nothing against them going but it, it just it feels kind of jerkish because I just wouldn't be able to spend time with them at all and then the last one Jason 5532 how many people have unsubscribed since you got rid of Goldie Hawn not trying to be a dick just an honest question well, uh, probably millions at this point. Probably millions of people have unsubscribed. No, I have no idea. YouTube, when you go to the Creator Studio, you just have like the number at the top and then uh, in like your analytics section, it says like whatever your, your total change is for the last 28 days. So it, it's, it's usually a positive number, so if there are people unsubscribing which i'm sure there are for more reasons than just the truck that uh then luckily there's more people subscribing than unsubscribing so i don't there's no real way for me to uh, keep track of that 
There probably is, but why worry about it? Uh, the way I see it is if someone was subscribed only for the truck, then they weren't a real like fan, so to speak. So I don't really care if they leave, you know what I mean? But if like a bunch of people whose opinions I actually care about and who I see commenting all the time, if they're all of a sudden like, man, I don't know anymore. I think I'm I think I'm done. So a lot of this stuff, like I said, is for the Firebird. This thing does not want to open. The heck? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um so a lot of these are fuel line fittings, oil feed and return and gas line and stuff like that. So here's my dash eight Y block because I'm going to be running dual pumps. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much going to do it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, it really does mean a lot, and it still really blows my mind that uh, anybody watches this shit. It just goes to show that anybody can do it nowadays. <laughs> I know if I can do it, anybody can do it. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you guys for ringing that bell to get the notifications. That's something that I never talk about, but does help out. And for everybody that understands that this is just some doofus making YouTube videos and not some expert trying to explain things, uh, thank you, because there's a lot of people that seem to think that I should know what I'm talking about. And I really don't. I'm just a guy. I'm learning from experience just like you guys. Oh yeah. So, have a good one guys. We'll see you next time.